I'm going to dispense from the usual introductions, guys. Because even though today is Christmas Day, Merry Christmas, by the way, we are not in, we are not in a good way with our um, defeat the streak mode. You see, yesterday we all stood together as one, hoping that Santa Claus could defeat the Undertaker. However, the legendary man of toys failed in his attempt to defeat the the demon of death valley so we've had to do this as much as i don't want to we have had to bring back jesus christ and jesus will be facing the undertaker Undertaker's decided to dress up for the occasion, though, and wear a random attire. But it looks like today we are going to see The Undertaker defend his legendary WrestleMania streak at WrestleMania 3 versus the Son of God himself, Jesus. And it is Christmas Day, 2013 years ago, this man was born. He is 2013 years old today, and he is going to attempt to rescue Christmas. Why? He's got the Mrs. music! <laughs> Go oh, Jesus! <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Son of God, Jesus! Oh, I love that. All it needs now is the the bloody Twitter account at at Christ or something, and he's going to be wrestling the Undertaker. What a time has the Undertaker worn to his match today? And will the Son of God be able to defeat the Undertaker? Jesus is a bit smaller than Undertaker's in his ministry attire tonight. And Jesus is wrestling in Jesus is wrestling in his customary white robe. And he and, and he's got his halo. Jesus has worn his halo tonight. But will Jesus be able to defeat the Undertaker? We'll have to wait and see. At the moment Jesus appears to be on top. He's also wrestling in sandals tonight. So he could have problems gripping the floor. I thought he'd go barefoot for the occasion. Oh, Jesus has just encouraged the Undertaker to suck it. Jesus is absolutely... Um, Jesus is on fire tonight. And, um, yeah, with the fact that he's um, he's dead, maybe uh, referring to Jesus as on fire is a, bad, is, a, is a bad omen. On Christmas Day, the man's birthday... Will he do it? Will he be able to defeat the Undertaker? Take is coming back here. But will the Son of God be able to defeat the Undertaker? We'll have to find out. Place your bets, guys. Will Christ save Christmas? Undertaker's on top. Of, Undertaker's having a slight bit of dominance here. Taker's got some dominance here. Um, Jesus paying the paying the paying the price for those sandals there as he trips over during the match. Taker dominates dominating the Son of God here. Taker absolutely dominating the Son of God with that apron leg drop. But Christ uses his ring escape, encouraging the Undertaker to suck it once again. It's probably not a good idea, Christ. But Jesus, Jesus with that smothering hand across the mouth, of the Undertaker. 
Jesus has got his signature manoeuvre. Let's see what it is. Undertaker with a reversal, but Jesus reverses it back. Undertaker manages to reverse Jesus' attempt at a signature manoeuvre once again and catch him with a DDT. And he's going for the pin. Jesus kicks out at uh, one. Undertaker's on top again. And Jesus has been thrown, knocked over the top rope all the way down to the floor. Taker's on top in this match right now. But Christ rolls out from uh, rolls out of the ring. Jesus has got him. He's got him in a power bomb. He lifts him up. Oh, it's a, it's multiple power bombs. Jesus with the multiple power bombs, and the Canadian Destroyer. That was that is one hell of a finisher. If Jesus hits that one more time, that's gonna be it. But the Undertaker goes for the tombstone outside the ring. And down goes Jesus. Jesus has been tombstoned. But will he be able to defeat the Undertaker? We'll have to keep trying and find out. Jesus with the reversal. Jesus with the belly to belly suplex. Jesus going for it. He's going he's man he's kipped up. Christ is back on his feet. And he takes the Undertaker out with an elbow to the face. Christ ducks round the Undertaker, goes for the drop kick, but the Undertaker catches that drop kick. Jesus is gonna do it. I think Jesus might do it here. Drop kick to the back of the Undertaker's head. And that powerful punch to the running punch. He's got the bell and he's he's bashed the Undertaker in the head with that steel bell. And Jesus is going in the ring. He's taking the Undertaker in the ring. But Undertaker gets the ring bell to the head of the uh, the head of Christ there. Oh, the Undertaker has been able to defeat Jesus. The Undertaker got lucky there with that ring bell shot to the head. And Christ went down. We are in. We're in some trouble, guys. Jesus was supposed to save Christmas. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Hang on. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. No way. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? No. Guys, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to we're going to have to take a short break. We'll be right back. Somebody else has stepped up. Maybe. Maybe this man. Maybe. But we're going to have to take a short ad break. Oh my god, no, not you. Please god, not you. Oh no. Here we go. Guys. I'm back from the little break. And, yeah, I can't believe I'm doing this. Earlier today, we all saw the attempt and failure by Jesus to defeat The Undertaker, right? Well, here's the thing. This man is forcing me to let, to let him have a shot at the streak. He said the things he can do 
will end me if I don't allow him to have his shot. So he will be facing the Undertaker right now. Lucifer is going to face the Undertaker. He said the Undertaker owes him a thing or two. He says the Undertaker owes him a match. So unfortunately, I've no choice but to begin the match. Or he said he's going to kill me. So Lucifer has arrived in the arena and he wants to face the Undertaker. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely a thing, guys. <clears throat> the devil at Satan666 well I hate to say it guys but I'm going into this match hoping Undertaker wins He's the lesser of two evils here. But. <laughs> this could be the, the final match ever. He's absolutely. He's. Oh, gone. I don't. I don't. I just. I was ready. I was ready to end the episode having seen that Christ had lost to The Undertaker. And then he just appeared. And, um, well, he's having a hard enough time with The Undertaker, as it would seem. So place your bets now, guys. Who's going to win? The Undertaker or the Devil? Taker going for the. Uh... Of course, he's got ring escape. Lucifer is absolutely beating the Undertaker down right here. He's absolutely destroying the dead man. Will the dead man survive this match? Who knows? Who, who is who is the senior when it comes to? Being evil. Is it the Undertaker? Or is it the Devil? Who's in charge? That's what we're going to find out today. He's spitting flames out. Oh. Oh. Taker's got the choke slam from the top rope. And down goes Lucifer. That's very appropriate. The monster. Oh. What a brutal move. Shoulder barge. It's a power bomb of some sort. What's he doing? It's a sit out power bomb. This is quite a. This is quite a match right here, guys. Such strange moves. All these really, really unusual moves right now. Unusual moves, to say the least, guys. I don't know what to think of some of them. But I suppose this man is from hell. And it shows you where Taker gets some of it from, I suppose.
Oh, the Undertaker's bleeding. The Undertaker's blood is all over his face right now. And he's, he's not going to stop either by the looks of things. I couldn't believe it when Lucifer turned up tonight. Lucifer with a reversal. Lucifer seems to be on top here. Taking us a reversal there, though. Taker with the choke slam. Is, is Lucifer going through the table? No, the Undertaker was unable to put Lucifer through a table. Taker going for the tomb. Through the table with the fall away slam there. But Lucifer catches the Undertaker with his char with his charging um, attack. But over the steps, the steel steps are now in play here. Another power bomb, another power bomb on the Undertaker. I think this could be it right here. This is a being like no other. He missed that part. He missed that chart. That that top rope spear, though. Undertaker's got him down, but he kicks out. Lucifer's kicked out. Taker reverses it. He's using his ring escape. Overhead um, German suplex right there. Big boot. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen that from the man from hell, have we? Gringo Killer! He just hit The Undertaker with a Gringo Killer. I can't believe it, guys, but I think it's over. I think this one's done. He's strangling Taker on the, ra on the, on the apron. And now he's in. He's going for that sit-out powerbomb. This could be it, guys. This could be it. He's going for a pin pinfall version as well. The lights have gone out, though. The lights are out. The lights are out. Taker gets the choke slam. Taker takes him down with that choke slam right there. Oh, Lucifer was unable to kick out. The Undertaker has defeated the Devil. The Undertaker defeats Lucifer right there. The Undertaker. The Undertaker really is invincible. He has defeated the Devil. What's that I'm hearing in my ear? I'm hearing we've got another challenger. However, that challenger will challenge The Undertaker tomorrow on Boxing Day. I'm told... I'm told I cannot tell you his identity quite yet. As I'm told, he's very secretive about his identity. All I'm told is that tomorrow's challenger is a man who must not be named. That man... What's that? Can you, can you say again? Can you say again, Steve? That man is coming for The Undertaker tomorrow because it's what... Because what? Because that man is coming for The Undertaker because he is doing what his what his um I can't tell them that I can't tell them that can I really 
Tomorrow's opponent cannot be named because he who must not be named is coming. That's all I can tell you guys. So make sure you check in tomorrow on Boxing Day to find out who cannot be named. I'll see you guys then. And I'm sorry for the devil's appearance tonight. Have a good Christmas and we'll see you on Boxing Day where he, shall, he who shall not be named will face the Undertaker. See you guys tomorrow.